Hello everyone, my name is Robin Zhu. I'm the manager for fuel and licensing department here at Bison Transport. And today I want to talk a little bit about fuel. Now, when you research for you know, different kind of fuel programs in the market, you'll find, I would say, a um, couple of different type of programs, but the, but the majority we can we can say two type of uh, major fuel programs. One is called a cap program. So what that is, is the carrier we will say, hey, you know, doesn't matter what the fuel price is, we'll just charge you uh, a fixed price. So price is at a dollar, whatever you pay for fuel, however, however much, um, is 40 cents per liter. If you price at $2 tomorrow, your fuel price, whatever you pay through us, is still 40 cents per liter. So that's what people call the, a cap program. You know, there's often conditions attached to it. For example, your mile per, your mile per gallon, your fuel economy has to reach a certain level for you to qualify for that. But in general, it's not hard to qualify. And that is one of the more, uh, it's one of the popular programs, I would say, in the market. It's called cap program, right? And for you to figure out, okay, what my fuel expense is going to be is relatively simple. Right? You take, you know, your fuel economy, you take how many miles you will be running, figure out how many liters I will be burning times the, the cap. So either 40 cents or 35 or 45. And you'll be figure out, you'll be able to figure out what your net fuel is going to be. Now, the second type of program is usually fuel discount plus a fuel subsidy. Now, how that works is of course you pay a discounted price upfront for your fuel. Now at the end of a pay period, either two weeks or monthly or semi-monthly, the carrier will pay you uh, a fuel subsidy. Now that fuel subsidy is usually based on some kind of formula and that has just and that has so many different types, right? Some carrier pays you based on DOE index, which is US fuel price, retail, uh, re retail, retail diesel price in the US. Some carrier pay you, you know, local um, Eastern markets, let's say FCA. Um, some some carriers pay you based on their own actual experience, right? Average price paid as a carrier in certain region. So there's so many different kind of programs. 